Good evening. What's going on, SB7 Nation? Sammy the Bull here coming to you on a Memorex video from his kitchen at his house. And, yes, look at the time. Again, it's late. 11.37 at night, Friday night. Gotta be up. Gotta be up real early. Yep. Oh, there's Buddy. Hi, Buddy. Take a look at Buddy. Come here. Hi, Buddy. You heard me? Come here, say hi to everybody. Yeah, hi. You want to say hi to everybody? Let me get you a treat. Come on. You want a treat? Okay. Come on, that's B7 Nation. All the members want to see you. Ready? You want a treat? Sit. Sit. Go ahead, buddy. Sit. Sit. No, sit, sit. <laughs> buddy, you sit. Buddy, sit. Sit. Not lay down. Not lay down, buddy. Sit. Come on. Sit. Come on. Come on. Oh, stubborn dog. Stubborn dog. Come on. Come on. Sit. Come on. Come on up. Come on up. Come on. Sit. 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 <laughs> sit. 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 Sit, buddy, sit. You can have it. Sit. 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 No treat for you. Come here. All right. Good boy, Paul. Good boy. Give me that other paw. Good boy. There you go. There you go. Give me the paws. Say hi. I love you. No, oh, he gone. Anyway, whatever. All right, before we get started, guys, let's do the Proverbs, or should I say the words of love from above. Let's do our uh, saying of the day. Let's see what we got. Hatred stirs up conflict, but love covers all the wrongs. Covers all wrongs. Proverbs 10, 12. I'm not sure if it was today or yesterday's, so let's do one more. It's a nice one, though. Hatred stirs up conflict, but love covers covers all, all, cut, wait, but love covers over all wrongs. That's a good one. I like that. Put that in the back. One more for the day. Second Corinthians 5, 14, 15. Here it is. For Christ's love, for Christ's love compelled us because we are convinced that once that way we are convinced that one died for all and therefore all died and he may die for all that those who lived shall shall no longer live for themselves but for him who died for them and would raise again was raised again that is second corinthians 5 14 15 okay a little bit of scripture of the day now to the main event guys because i gotta get to bed and i want to get them damn leprechauns tomorrow you know the deal good card i bought it i got it yesterday i wanted to wait pull it out of here came via it went to uh, double authentication as usual went there it's santa fe by the way no not santa fe where they go to uh it goes to california and if I don't, I don't, it might be Santa Fe. I'm not even sure. A guy, this is an awesome card, guys. It is the best rookie card you could possibly get of the Iron Man. He was an all-star. I mean, he's a Hall of Famer from the Baltimore Ravens. You, you heard him. He played shortstop. I think he played a little bit of third base as well. Come on. You know him. Look at this. And you can't get this in packs, guys. Look at it. The 1982 Topps Traded Cal Ripken Jr. card number 98T. This is in a PSA 7. No, PSA 8 near mint mint. It's traded because if you notice on the number, 98T. It wasn't, you couldn't buy an 82 Topps uh, set and get this in there. Because his rookie card in the regular packs in 82, or the set if you bought it, it had him. 
and three other rookie stars from the Orioles. It was him and two other guys. And at the time, it really only booked for like 25, 30 bucks. If you had it graded high, you might have got 40, 50 bucks. And if you had it in the Gem Mint 10, you were probably getting about 125, 130 for it. This card, guys, is the creme of the creme. It, it, I'm telling you, it's the cat's meow. It's the best. Look at it. Look at the centering. Look at the centering. It's the best uh, Ken Grippy Jr. rookie card that you can possibly get a hold of. Way better than the Fleer. Way, 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 way better than the uh, Dunross. Those, those always, those still only average maybe 40, 50 a piece, all depending on grade. This is an eight. It's solid. It's mint. I'm going to call this 50 50 left to right. Yes, 50 50 left to right. And I'm going to call it, I got to be real technical. I'm going to call it 55 on the top, 45 on the bottom. That's how close it is. No print dots. It's beautiful. I love it. This card right here in an eight is probably worth, I would say this card in an eight is worth somewhere between 400, I would say between 475 to, I would say about 600, 625 hours in this grade. And a nine, it's an easy 800 to a thousand hours. And a 10, I already saw them going for 12, 13, 1400 hours. It's that good. This is a high grade. It's beautiful. Bam, another card for the PC Iron Man and a PSA 8. You gotta love it. Beautiful card. I like it. And that's really about it. You know? Bring it over here with some of this other stuff here. One day we're going to go through. The, there's a big box back here, guys. And if I get into my storage, I have a ton of stuff. It might not be like, you know, about tens of tens of thousands worth of cards. But I have about 40 to 50 baseball signed. Some of them by Carlton. Some of them signed by people like Ryan Howard and a lot of Phillies that were hot back in the day. Cole Hamels and Dusty Baker. You know, a bunch of other good ones. And I also got helmets. Signed by Lynn Swan, Ben Roethlisberger, you know, a um, lot of big time, old time greats, you know, I got to get that stuff out of there anyway. I don't know where I'm going to put it at yet, but uh, this is a card that on the short, you didn't get a chance to see it good. Well, you're going to see it now. This is, let's take it out of the holder, a 1973 Tops rookie star, Mike Schmidt. You guys on the short, I didn't get a chance to show you the whole card. The eye appeal is amazing. Look at that eye appeal. It's double authenticated. I can't open it up. So we're going to have to uh, put it right here. Centering is nice. I'm going to call probably about maybe... Uh, Eh, maybe 45, 45 on the left, 55 on the right. Centering is about close to 50, 50 top and bottom. Eye appeal is absolutely beautiful. See the black border? They're always sprayed and you always get altered and people use marker. But look at the corners. There's no marker. It has not been altered. It's a beautiful card. I think it's an undergrade, an excellent to mint PSA 6 on a Schmidt Rookie 73 tops. This card's a nice card. This card is a solid card. Um, in this grade, I would say this card is between six and 700 hours. In this grade, easy. If it would have been a 7, it would have bounced up tremendously to the $900,000 range. 8 brings you twelve to 1500 A 9 can bring you eight hundred to to 1000 A Gem Mint 10, I've seen for 6 and 7000 Oh, beautiful rookie stars from the Phillies, Mike Schmidt. And on this card is also Ron Say from the Dodgers. See him? Ron Say from the Dodgers. And John Hilton from the Padres, he's not that great. But all in all, it's still all right. Beautiful card there. We're going to show, we're going to go through these cards one day. We're going to go through them all. It'll be fun. We're going to get through them all. We got, I got to get my storage unit. I got hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and thousands of cards there. I also got signed balls. I got about 60 to 70 signed baseballs. And I have somewhere between 10 and 15 signed, signed mini helmets. It'll be fun. 
this card I got to find a spot for. But there it is, guys. The new collection to the SB7 Vault. It's beautiful. Another good card is coming. I actually have four cards ordered. Another one is coming soon. It'll be a beauty. I always I had this card in my past, but I never had it graded this high. I, I actually I've never had this card graded. It's the first time I ever had a PSA graded card of the 82 tops traded. This card was only available in packs. That's it, not packs. I'm my bad. This card is only available when you bought the 82 tops traded set. It was like a 132 card set, something like that. And you got this card, 98T was this card. And you had the hope that it was a good cut because of quality control. And in this case, it is. All right, I'm going to let you guys go. Thanks for tuning in on this little SB7 ex exclusive card review. We have a beauty here. Yes, we do. Thank you for tuning in, guys. Once again, guys, we are really tinkering on real close to over 14,000 subscribers. Keep up the hard work, SB7 Nation. I'll see you guys in the morning. It ain't going to be that long. I want to try and get Earl up a little earlier because I want to get a head start on that seven-day convenience store when they open. Okay? Love you as all, guys. Peace and love. Be safe. Be blessed. Take care of your loved ones. Take care of your family, everybody in your circle. And take everybody in our beautiful community, the SB7 Nation. Me, Sammy the Bull, SB7, will catch you and the Iron Man, Cal Ripken Jr. on the flip side. All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in. All right. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It does wonders more than you ever know. All right. And until the next card review, thank you, thank you, and thank you, and see you. Saturday morning, January 18th. I'll see you in the morning. Cal Ripken Iron Man PSA 8. Yeah, look at that card. Beautiful. I know, it's a glare. We got to get the glare going here. We put it like that. We can really appreciate it. Yeah, I should have I should have did it like that, right? We should have did it like that. Oh, uh, what was I thinking? Love you guys. See you in the morning. Peace.